On the surface, SSDs and RAM look pretty similar. They're both composed of black memory modules that store data attached to a printed circuit board. And they're both solid state, meaning they contain no moving parts. Why is it then that the parts of an SSD that store data degrade over time? So much so that the SSD becomes unusable, while this is not true for RAM. Let's first talk about the inner workings of an SSD. An SSD uses something called a floating gate transistor to store an individual bit, either a one or a zero. We're gonna keep it super simple in this video, so all you need to know is that inside that transistor, there's an insulating layer that the SSD circuitry forces electrons through. That insulating layer traps those electrons and creates a charge. And how many of those electrons are trapped determines if the transistor represents a one or a zero. To flip the bit and change it to the other state, electrons are pushed out of the insulating layer. This is a very useful design. Because of how electrons get trapped within the transistor, SSDs retain their data even when they're powered off. Otherwise, everything on your computer would just be lost anytime you had to shut it down. But the downside is that forcing all those electrons through the insulating layer with relatively high voltages wears it down over time. Eventually, the wear gets so bad that the transistor will leak electrons and information gets lost. Before that happens though, the SSD's controller should make the SSD read only. You won't be able to write to it anymore, but you can still recover the data that's on it. RAM is different though. RAM does not degrade in this way, and we will tell you why right after we thank our sponsor Zoho CRM for sponsoring this video. Zoho CRM is a 360 degree solution for managing your business, sales, marketing, and customer service. With their intuitive UI and simple navigation, it's easy to implement their service quickly and efficiently. They offer AI predictions to help you understand your customer's needs, plus, their design studio helps you customize your experience so you can spot critical information at a glance. Zoho offers flexible contracts, transparent pricing, and an ever-evolving product that grows to meet your needs without snowballing costs. Get 50% off your annual subscription when you use code ZCRM50 using the link in the video description. So why doesn't RAM degrade like SSDs do? Well, instead of using floating gate transistors, this is my floating gate transistor gesture, RAM simply uses capacitors, good old fashioned capacitors. Their function is to hold a charge or not hold a charge, and that state corresponds to a zero or a one. These capacitors are basically tiny versions of the bigger cylindrical caps you'll find on a power supply or on a motherboard, meaning they need constant power to operate. Take away power and the capacitors can't hold the charge anymore. This is why, unlike SSDs, RAM is often referred to as volatile memory, and why your PC doesn't pick up right where you left off after a shutdown unless you dump the contents of RAM to a hard drive or an SSD first, which actually is what Windows does when you put it in hibernate mode. But the upside to volatile memory is exactly the opposite of an SSD's drawbacks. There's no insulating layer inside those capacitors to wear down, so they have a much longer lifespan. This is a huge reason why RAM often comes with a lifetime warranty. You won't find that with SSDs. Now, don't get us wrong. Just because SSDs have a finite lifespan doesn't mean that you will necessarily have to worry about your SSD wearing out. Modern SSDs are designed for a huge number of reads and writes and include a feature called wear leveling. This means the SSD's controller will spread out the reads and writes over all of the SSD's cells instead of hitting the same few cells over and over again, wearing them out faster. Odds are, you'll be ready to either get a new PC or to expand your storage capacity way before your old drive wears out. As for RAM, although the data storing modules shouldn't wear out due to reads and writes, RAM still can and does fail. It's just that it's caused by other factors, such as overheating, static damage, or using too much voltage. So if you're overclocking your RAM, be sure you're not putting three volts through it as part of some insane quest to make it 1% faster. Your family will still love you, and so will I. So thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it and you love us, hit subscribe, hit like, and hit us up in the comments section with your suggestions for topics that we should cover in the future. We love your feedback.